Hey y'all, um, coming to you today with a quick um, DIY on a garden scoop. And I know that you can purchase these, but why would you wanna do that? So I looked up on Amazon and I saw a garden scoop similar to the one that we're going to make today out of a recycled container that is running, I think they were $17.99, probably plus shipping, I'm not sure. But uh, in today's society, I don't know about you, but if I can save 20 bucks, I'm gonna save 20 bucks because that might buy me an actual dozen eggs. <laughs> I mean, eggs are ridiculous right now. So uh, groceries in general, obviously, but we won't go down that rabbit hole today. Um, this is about a DIY project on making a garden scoop out of a recycled container. The items we're gonna need for today's project are a Sharpie marker, any color, it doesn't matter, just as long as it'll show up on whatever you're marking. A container, and I am using a laundry container. And you could use a milk jug, but really that's not going to work very long because the plastic is so uh, thin. It's a thin wall plastic. You wouldn't think that in a milk jug, but it is. You can kind of push it in. You want something that's more um, uh, sturdier, like a laundry detergent. You can tell here it's much harder to uh, push that in. Uh, it is a little weaker on the sides, but again, it is a stronger, sturdier container, the bottom and everything. The last item you're gonna need is a knife, and this needs to be a fairly sharp knife that uh, is gonna be able to cut through this plastic and um, get that um, taken care of. And I'm not, let me see if I can close it before I cut my fingers off. So that's what we need to get started. What you're going to do is you're first gonna, going to clean out the container, obviously. Make sure that you uh, take the lid off um, once it's empty. Um, put you in some bleach and some water, hot water. Um, shake it around several times, rinse it out. Just make sure that you get all of the soap out. You're still probably going to smell the laundry detergent, but uh, yeah, I can still smell it. Um, I don't know that that's ever gonna come out. Even after you've bleached it, it's still going to smell, but that's okay. The next thing you need to do is to decide how you're going to uh, mark your container for cutting. Now, I have seen people do it this way where they leave the lid on and actually cut the hole in the bottom of it and scoop that way. You could also cut the lid off, cut you a hole here and let that be the scoop. And I think that is probably gonna be the route we go today. Uh, we're going to use, we're gonna be cutting off the neck or the top of the container and using it to scoop um, scoop our soil or whatever we're using in there. Um, I'll insert some photos here of the ones I found on Amazon. Again, they're running about $17.99. And like I said, this is all about reusing uh, what we've got and saving our family some money. And, um, you know, otherwise this thing, I mean, there's lots of different ways to DIY projects. Just look it up on Pinterest. There's lots of different things you can do with these, but, um, ooh, as the camera falls over, it keeps it out of the, um, garbage, keeps it out of the dump because obviously this is not going to be breaking down anytime soon, this heavy plastic. And if you want to get the labels off, you certainly can, um, you could even spray paint this another color if you like, but I'm probably not even gonna worry about the labels uh, because I've tried pulling these off. They don't really come off. I don't care if the label's on it. Um, it doesn't bother me with the label being on there. It doesn't bother me that it's a blue color. Uh, so I'm gonna get this marked up. In looking at my container. I think I have decided that I am going to pretty much follow the contour of this indention on the container itself. You want the bottom lip to be left extending a little further than this area because obviously for the scoop uh, movement, I guess, so it can scoop under and, and get soil. 
So I think I'm going to, um, like I said, just kind of mark. I don't want to uh, mess up my handle. I definitely don't want to cut any of that off. So I'm going to just kind of mark here and I mean, you can make your line however you want to and then come down. I'm just gonna do the same thing over here and just do that line and see how this does. This is my first one, so we'll see how it goes. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on that have uh, the rubber backing to kind of help, help me hold um, the plastic jug or laundry detergent container uh, a little bit safer, I guess, more safe. Um, and you definitely need to get you a good sharp knife for this. And just gonna start, hopefully you can see all this, pierce it somewhere. And this plastic is very tough, so um, just, just take your time. This might take a couple of minutes, but it's okay. We're not in a rush. Should have sprayed the lid on a little better. Help hold on to it. get back around the other side make sure you don't get happy cutting and cut off too much so we're gonna go back up now to the top and cut across on our mark great okay let me close this knife. We have 10 fingers left, which is a good sign. And we have our container. Now, I do note that I wasn't able, just on the shape of this container, I wasn't able to leave this front longer, just the way the, sh the container was made. Um, so I still think it's gonna be just fine. We're gonna take it outside and see if uh, we can scoop up our soil with it, which is what the purpose of it is. And you can see it's nice and, you know, I can put my hand down here and there's plenty of room left, uh, pretty solid here on the side. It is a little, uh, it's not super hard, but I still think unless, you know, we're not digging in hard soil. This is like for potting mix. Uh, maybe like um, our mulch that we've got ground up with the uh, soil conditioner. Uh, it's gonna be able to get that. But this is not a shovel. It is not, it's not for us to go out and dig in hard clay or, or compacted soil. This is just to help us in our potting, maybe seed starting, that kind of thing. Um, you know, this here, the hole on the handle could be uh, not really problematic because if you notice, there's a hole, the hole, the handle goes all the way through. So if something gets down in here, it's no problem. It's gonna come out down there at the bottom inside the container. Um, but yeah, this is um, our container and it is a, let's see, 1.06 gallon. So a good size container, definitely um, great for, um, like I said, just repotting a plant or seed starting um, either. But let's go outside and see how it actually works. Okay, we are outside and we have our container. Here we go. And this is our um, pile of pine bark mulch and soil conditioner. And you can see by the leaves on it, it has been sitting out here all winter long. And it actually is not as soft as it normally is. Uh, it's kind of gotten beaten down by the rain and the snow and the ice, but um, it still works. Um, if you go in and you scoop, obviously it's picking up. Kind of helps, you know, tear it down. So yeah, this is gonna be a great little thing uh, inside the greenhouse once we get our table set up. Um, 
I think I mentioned earlier that you can take and drill holes in the bottom of this, but another function of this would be to fill it up with water if you're just needing to use it for a little bit of um, a, like a watering can, that would work as well. Again, make sure that you have cleaned it really well inside and gotten all the soap and the residue out. I can still definitely smell the laundry detergent in it, but um, I think that's just where it's, it has absorbed into the plastic. So that's a thought for you guys. If you want to uh, use um, your old laundry containers, um, like I said, I don't think a milk jug would work because it's definitely not as sturdy. So something hard plastic like this, um, if you can find any other type of container, would work as well. So thank you all. Hope you have a blessed day.